Hello, this is an EVE C40 cell, a cylindrical cell, lithium iron phosphate, 40 millimeters diameter made by EVE. And this has been very kindly supplied by HakadiBattery.com. Now I say it's a C40 cell, actually its full name is an EVE. IFR 4135. So I just means lithium. F means lithium ion phosphate. R means uh, cylindrical or round. 40 is 40 millimeters diameter and the cell is 135 millimeters long. Now that might be quite hard to visualize even though I've got a grid here of one centimeter squares. So let's bring in for comparison um, a 32650 cell. So this is the cell that I'm using in my battery packs in the shed and you can see the size difference. Uh, this is a 6 amp hour although I believe you can get 7 amp hour variants of the 32650. But the 4135 cell is 20 amp hours. Now, if you get these from HakadiBattery.com, you will get pre-welded 6 millimeter or M6 studs uh, fitted to each end of the cell. And also uh, you'll get a hardware connecting kit with copper bus bars and nuts. And that makes it very easy to put these cells in series. Simply attach a bus bar and put on a couple of supplied M6 nuts like that. So I have been testing these cells using the standard test procedure. I've done three out of four that I've got so far. And I've got 20.21 uh, amp hours, 20.19 amp hours and this one is 20.04 amp hours. Uh, the fourth cell is attached to my test rig. So let's look at some specifications here. Uh, capacity is 20 amp hours, that's if you discharge at 0.33 C. Now I am discharging slightly lower than that and that's because I can't um, get to the standard test temperature because it says 25 degrees C. There's no way I can get this room to 25 degrees C at the moment. It's too cold. Um, you'll get a little bit less capacity, 19 and a half amp hours if you discharge at 1C, which is 20 amps. Uh, AC internal resistance, less than or equal to 1.9 milliohms using uh, one kilohertz. We can do that test. Um, end of charge voltage is 3.65 volts. And the um, voltage that you discharge down to is 2.5 volts. So standard charging current, 10 amps, that's 0.5 C. Fast charging current is 20 amps, so that's 1 C. But of course that will only go up to 80% uh, state of charge. And then of course all the currents come down. Um, standard discharging current is 10 amps, 0.5 C. But you can do a 60 amp maximum discharging current. So that's 3C pulse for 30 seconds. So here are our discharge capacity test at ambient temperature of 25 degrees C. Now that's the bit I can't achieve. It's about 19 degrees in the room at the moment. Um, charge at 0.5C, let it sit for a while, charge to 3.65 uh, volts. Discharge at 0.33C, so that's the bit where I've chosen to discharge at 0.25C to compensate for the fact that I can't get them up to this sort of temperature. Uh, constant current to 2.5 volts, stop and re uh, record the discharge capacity and that's the way I'm testing these. Now what about price? As I remember it, these 32650 cells were about four or five pounds each I think for a six amp hour cell. So they're a little bit less than one pound per amp hour. Now these cells, if you buy eight of them, they're actually less than 10 pounds each. So less than 10 pounds for 20 amp hours. So the prices of these cells are very much still coming down. So here's my test setup. I'm charging the cell uh, through this red and black. 
up to 3.65 volts. Um, then I've got high current wires into the current inputs on my DL24 uh, electronic DC load and also low current wires for a four wire uh, measurement. This is to measure accurate voltage on these two inner connectors so that we get an accurate uh, watt hour reading, although I'm actually measuring amp hours, of course. Okay, let's do some internal resistance measurements. Now these may be slightly invalid because the test conditions does say um, test the battery at 30% state of charge with a frequency of one kilohertz. Well, this is a one kilohertz tester, but these cells are probably all at 0% state of charge because they've come off my tester having been fully discharged. But let's give it a try anyway. We are looking for uh, less than or equal to 1.9 milliohms at 30% state of charge. Let's see what we get. Okay, the first cell is uh, 1.80 or 1.79 milliohms. Next cell is okay. The second cell is a uh, very similar 1.78 milliohms. And the third cell is 1.75. Milliohms. So yes, they're all reading uh, the correct internal resistance, even those are actually, even though these are actually slightly more discharged than they're meant to be. Uh, you can see that these are all marked with their own individual barcodes, which are etched onto the aluminium end. Um, also, they have the negative and positive indicators. That's the negative. Where's the positive? Yeah, there's the positive there. A couple of interesting charts on the data sheet. This is the charging uh, chart. It says it is not advised to use currents exceeding 20,000 milliamps. That's 20 amps. And you can see here, this is 1C, this, this section here. So that's the uh, 20 amps. And they're saying it's only really relevant at lower states of charge between 25 and 45 degrees C. Elsewhere on the chart, these uh, C rates are, are D rated down to 0 0.8, 0 0.5, so some 0 0.8s, 0 0.8s. And when you get down to temperatures close to zero, you're at much, much lower C rates. So that's for charging. This is the chart for discharging and you can see maximum 1.5 C, so that's 30 amps. Uh, between about 0 degrees and 45 degrees C, uh, but mostly at higher states of charge. Obviously, we're discharging. Um, the lower states of charge, they've derated these numbers. And again, at lower temperatures, these uh, C rates are much derated and also at higher temperatures over 50 degrees C. So that's the EVE C40 uh, lithium iron phosphate cylindrical cell, or to give it its full name, the IFR 40135, 20 amp hours, 3.2 volts. So that's 64 watt hours. And as I say, bought in modest quantities, uh, you can get these cells for less than 10 pounds each uh, from Hakadi battery Com and I will put links to uh, these cells in the description below. But that's it for now. Cheerio.